All right, welcome back, everybody. We have another PSA reveal to go through today. Um, this one I sent in two at the same time, um, and this one was the second one, or the first one. The second one came back first, so uh, this one took a little bit longer than the last sub, um, but did not do as good on this sub. Out of it, we got two cards that were not graded. One was labeled miscut, the other one was labeled question authenticity. So, we got that to deal with. Anyways, let's see how their other cards did. Uh, we'll start out with uh, Craig. He's got three cards that he sent in with a sub. Uh, first one's a 1987 Classic Green. Bo Jackson. Now, this card off center on the back but I think it's a lot of whiting around the edges on it I mean great card but it did get a 7 um, now I was looking at the prices of this card this still even at a 7 brings some decent money I think it was like 50 bucks for a 7 um, so obviously the higher grade ones went for quite a bit more. I was surprised at how much this went for. Uh, but nice Bo Jackson. I said the, uh, the whiting around the edges. It is off center, top to bottom. Again, these are not easy to find. So that was Craig's first one. Now Craig's second one was another Bo Jackson, 1987 Fleer, and this was the glossy. Unfortunately, that was the considered the miscut. Why it was miscut, why they think it's miscut, I don't know. It does look, now that I look at it here, it does look kind of cockeyed. Almost. So, maybe that's what they're talking about. The, um... But, not graded, unfortunately. Bo Jackson, glossy. Uh, now, the second one, uh, the third one he sent in is another 1987 Fleer Glossy. However, this is Barry Bonds. Again, I'm assuming this is out of the same set. Off this set off center, left to right by quite a bit on the front here. Um, a little bit of whiting in the corners, but not bad. It's Barry Bonds rookie. You got an eight on that. Not bad for that card. Um, unfortunately, there is a lot of graded cards of this for Barry Bonds, uh, which brings the price down quite a bit, even at an eight. I think it ended up being like fifteen bucks at an eight, I think, but still. Nice card to have in your collection. Alright, so. That was Craig's three cards. The next four cards are mine. Um, I have four cards. And the fifth card, I think, is on the bottom. Um, I added one at the last moment. But anyways, let's start out with... Wade Boggs rookie card, 1983 Fleer. Um, actually, I have two of these in here. So we'll go to the first one here. I said this one a little bit off center, top to bottom, but on the back, which is well within specs. Um, but the front looks phenomenal. I mean, it looks well-centered. Edges look great. But I got a 9 out of 10. Still happy at a 9. Now, granted, um, there's a lot of these, but these are for my personal collection, so I don't care how much they're worth. Um, but it's a 9. I was hoping for a 10 uh, out of one of these two, so. But I got a 9. The next one, again, same thing. This one, uh, again, this one's very well centered on the back. 
and nicely centered on the front as well. But I got a nine again. <laughs> so I got two nines. Like I said, I'm fine with nines though. I would like to get a ten still, but they're not going anywhere. Um, next one, this is a uh, 1991 Topps Desert Shield Lee Smith Hall of Famer Lee Smith. Um, I got into a pack opening with Ripping Vintage, uh, and I got one card out of the pack, and fortunately, it was a Hall of Famer, Lee Smith. Uh, like I said, it is a little off-center, um, but its corners are nice, sharp picture, the Desert Shield, or Desert Storm, or Desert Shield, sorry, is in great condition. Like I said, this was right out of a pack, and a mint nine. Not worth a ton, but again, this was the first Desert Shield card that I've ever owned. Um, I still I need to get the Mattingly and the Boggs in a Desert Shield still, but I was happy with a nine. Now this one is a great card. I had to send it in. This is Flops. 1992 flops Wade bugs from the Boston sweat socks. It's just a fun card. Like I said, I love it. I really do. It's it's going in my box collection. The 1992 flops. Like I said, it was in great condition. I had to send it in, and of course, I got a ten on that. I love it. I think there was like. Eight cards in this set. Uh, six or eight cards. I don't remember. But there's Barry Bones and a couple other ones. Ken Griffey has one. But, yeah, Gem 10 in that. Love it. Absolutely love it. All right. Next cards up are Tim's cards. Now, this is the Chipper Jones Top Prospects. 1992 tops. This is the four squared Manny Alexander, Alex Arias, Will Cordero, and Chipper Jones. I think besides Chipper, Will Cordero is about the only one that actually did anything. But nice card. This is the winner, the gold winner. So makes it even a little bit more harder to find. And he got a 10 in that. Nice card. Look how young Chipper Jones is. Nice. Gem 10. Love it. Next one up is 1989 Tops. Ken Griffey Jr. I got two of these again. This is his rookie. Tops traded. 1989 Tops traded for the kid. We got an eight on that. Not sure. I mean, I I really don't understand why that's an eight. There, I don't see any. Well, there's a ding on that corner. Now I see that. So that corner brought it down. That's a pretty good ding too. So. Got an eight on that. On the other one, again, this one I don't see any ding corner on this one. Looking good, and we got a ten. Yep, there we go. That one's better. We got a gem ten for the kid rookie card. Nice. Um, next two is a. Uh, the next one was the other one that was not graded. It was 1984 Tops, Don Mattingly, Tiffany. And again, questionable authenticity. Unfortunately, this is not graded. Which sucks. So I really was hoping that was going to grade. 
Anyway, on to his next one. He's got a f uh, next four Kobe Bryant. This is 1997 Skybox EX 2001. Uh, Allen Iverson on the back. No, this is Allen Iverson Skybox, not Kobe Bryant. <laughs> okay, I wrote it down on my sheet wrong. But that is a cool looking card. So AI, and they got a seven. I do not know why that's a seven. That is a tough grade for that. I don't see any. I had to have to look closer. With I'm just looking with my my eyeballs, and that's definitely not good enough. A seven on the AI though. Ugh. Gorgeous looking card though. Now I don't know if it is a print line going up the middle, as you can see. Right there. Does that affect it? Well, unfortunately, that was a seven. And next one up is a Kobe Bryant Stadium Club. Uh, 1997 top stadium club rookie 1996 stadium club not 97 or 96 97 however you want to they grade it but nice looking Kobe rookie card and that got a nine very nice it's a great looking card Next Kobe is 1996 Fleer. Uh, Fleer Ultra. Yep, 96, 97 Fleer Ultra. Encore Rookie. Very nice. They got a 7 as well. I mean, it's way off center, top to bottom. Left to right, it's off center back I don't know but a seven how I, mean, I understand the centering on this is not great but how does those two cards both a seven that I that got me stumped on to the next this is uh, another Kobe this is 97 Upper Deck UD3. Again, nice hollow on the back. Hollow on the front. That's a nice looking card. Hardwood Prospects. And that got a 7 as well. Now this has the embossed uh, card, so... It's going to be tough to grade for surface because the whole surface is rigid. But a seven again. Boy, PSA is just not liking Tim. Maybe it's some, but a seven? Don't get it. All right, move on to... Michael Jordan, 1994 Upper Deck. This is with the White Sox, his star rookies. This is the Electric Diamond version, parallel. And that got an eight. Now, these are really tough. I mean, I, I the corners are, are not great on this card, but this card is very tough to grade. I've seen a, a few of them graded, and I've never seen... A 10 and very, very rarely a 9. So. Uh, and Tim's last one. Uh, I believe this is one of his customers. Oops. Oh, I see. I, I think I messed up the order. 
yeah, I just messed up the order. This is a Skybox. Because I thought the other one was Allen Iverson. This one I have in the list is Allen Iverson, but it's not. So this is Kobe Bryant. 97 Skybox EX 2001. Yeah, I just had them in the wrong order. That's all. That's a nice clear vision. Great looking card. Another tough card to grade. And they got an 8. Cool looking card though. I've never seen that before. I like it. Where's it? No, they can nine. I was looking at card eight. They got a nine. Nice. All right. Now Mark has a desert shield. This was out of the same pack. Uh, him and I both got a card out of this. I think he got two. No, he got one card out of it. But a uh, 1991 Topps Desert Shield. Lloyd Mosby. Again, a little off center. Nice stamp. He got an eight on it, though. These Desert Shield cards are great. I mean, they're all worth a decent amount. So they're so hard to find. Then we got Mark's last one, CC Sabathia rookie. This is 1999 Topps Bowman's Best. Nice looking card. Love the shine on that. Look how young he is. With the Indians. And they got a nine. Very nice. Again, another tough card to grade with the, all the etching in there and everything. But very nice. Mint nine. And the last card is mine. Don Mattingly. 1994 Top Stadium Club, Team Finest. Um, now there's a little, there is some greening in there, which was common with these cards, with the Duflex technology or whatever it was called. So, but it was a nice looking card. I got an eight on it. I was hoping for a nine, but I'm okay with an eight. That'll go into my PC collection though. Very nice. So, that is a sub. Unfortunately, we did have two that were not graded. Um, so, I'll get all these cards back to everybody. Um, and I do have another sub going for this month, end of this month. I'll be sending in. So, uh, get a hold of me if you got cards that you want to go. All right, guys. Stay safe. Keep ripping.